Fang of the Sun Dogram is a 1980s mecha show created by the legend that is Ryozuki Takashi. What this man works on usually ends up being gold, and if you're a serious mecha or just anime fan I'm sure you've come across one or more of his works without even knowing it perhaps. It is set way in the future where humans have long colonised a planet known as Deloya, but Earth seeks to keep the planet under its full control, whereas the people of Deloya want independence. This is what serves as the background plot as to what is to unfold throughout the show. Crean, who is the main character, I thought this guy was going to be a sport little brat at first but he ends up being more like Bruce Wayne, as in he comes from a very prestige family and he actually gives a what's it to helping others, especially the DeLoreans. Crean does remind me a little bit of Camille from Zeta Gundam, as in he is quite rash with his actions and does things on instinct without thinking of the consequences, which of course leads him getting into all kinds of trouble. Crean's dad, who is the chairman of the Earth Federation Council, is kidnapped while on DeLoya. This is what initially sets Crean's adventure off, as he travels there to help rescue his father. Only when he gets there and meets his father, he gets way more than he bargained for. This sets into motion the Earth Federation plan to destroy any chance of Deloya's independence and have total control over the planet. Only the Delorean rebels have an ace up their sleeve, that being the combat armor known as Dugram. Will it be enough to tie the tides of war? Well, you'll find out in a well-crafted storyline that spans a lengthy 75 episodes. While the show may centre around Kryn, there's a whole bunch of other interesting characters that you'll get attached to, like Canary and Rocky and the rest of his gang of misfits. These guys end up teaming up with Kryn, but it's safe to say there's some early tensions between them as they come from very different backgrounds. I think Rocky might be my favourite character. I guess he kind of is the unofficial leader of the Fangs. It's often him calling the shots and making those hard choices, but it's not like everyone goes along with his plans all the time, but it does make for a good character to go to when the chips are down along with Kryn. This is a show that will make you feel very different emotions. While it's a serious show, there's definitely many funny moments, like a few episodes where the fan crew capture this annoying combat armor mechanic character, who at first ends up being a smug weasel. The bond between him and Festa was hilarious, like a comedy duo, it's these moments that help brighten up the more dark, serious ones. What this show is really good at is highlighting the greys and shadows of war and politics. It's not as clear cut as good versus evil. There's a clash of ideals and individuals throughout the show, and you will laugh and cry and get mad along with the characters yourself. The mechs in here of the bulky kind, which is quite normal for this era of mecha anime. These are some sturdy built walking beasts but their copy is a very easy weak spot which some characters find out at a fatal cost. The art and animation gets better the further you get into the story. It's like the animators became more brave in what they wanted to try, especially in regard to the action set pieces. Of course it's still 80s level animation but it's some fine work from that time. This means the show improves along with its intriguing plot to keep you hooked all the way through to the very end. I went into fan completely blind about its details other than who created it. And when I was done watching it, the show instantly became one of my favourite shows. I would easily put it in a top 10 all time list of mecha shows. Even if you're not into mecha, the story itself is just fantastic. I admit I like it more than Mobile Suit Gundam, which of course is still a great show. And it's no surprise Takeshi went on to create Voltoms right after this. You can see the seeds of that show in Dugram. You could consider Fang of the Sun Dugram the father of Voltoms, being the Sun show. If you like Gundam and Voltoms, then I'm sure you will enjoy Fang of the Sun Dogram. If you're fed up with modern day anime and you're looking for something really good to watch, then you can't go wrong with this show. Especially if you're into mecha, it's a must watch. Every episode is full of action and moves the story along with great writing and dialogue. As always, thanks for watching and catch you next time.